All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another hour of English classes here on Verbling.com. My name is Lisa, and I live in Washington State. I live in the United States. I'm one of the English teachers here. And in this hour of class, we're going to have a conversation class. So if you have a reservation, you can go ahead and use that now. That's available to redeem or to use or to get um, during the first two minutes of every class. Um, if you are new to Verbling.com, um, the way it works is we have classes in English and Spanish um, during the day, basically 24-7, we say, 24 hours a day, seven days per week. Sometimes we have um, two teachers teaching at one time. Those are usually the, day, uh, the times of day where we have more students wanting to take classes. We have students from all around the world, um, different times. So you'll, sometimes you might be with students in your same regional area, same country, or maybe across the, the whole world and different parts of the world. Everybody is in a different time zone usually. And um, Hamit is beginning for the first time his first verbling class. <laughs> yes, Hamid. it is only my uh, 362nd days on wow. the verbling. Wow, almost a whole year. Yes. That's, that's good. Yeah, Hamit, you should have a job where you take uh, like statistics or something. Do you like statistics? Yes, uh, the real reason is I like the numbers. You like the numbers, yeah. I like numbers too. Yeah, you must really like technology then, because with technology, it's so easy to keep track of numbers and you know how many people saw this and how many people came to class and you know lots of numbers yes. in yes. in the technology world. Okay, mm -hmm. teach. Oh, Nihon wants to know how she can find how many days she has been on Verbal. Yes. Okay, I will uh, uh, search and I will inform. I will inform you, uh, Nihan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, welcome. We have some people who uh, were in the last hour of class, which um, in which we read an article about teenagers in Brazil and something that has been happening for the last few months. And I want to talk about it, and then that's going to lead us into our bigger discussion about uh, teenagers and being a teenager in general. So I'll, I'll um, summarize what the article was about quickly here. Um, it's basically this idea that um, some of the teenagers in bigger cities in Brazil, like Sao Paulo, which has millions of people, um, these teenagers are organizing themselves on like Twitter or Facebook and they're organizing gatherings or meetups or you know just a way to all say hey we're gonna be at this place at five o'clock tonight and so what's happening is they're showing up we say en masse which is really French but like all together all at once um, and they, they just want to have fun. Some of them say they just want to have fun. They just want to like meet people. They want to get out of the house, go do something um, with their friends. But it's been causing a lot of problems for the art. According to the article, it's been causing problems to the elite classes um, in Brazil who are kind of worried about you know these um, lower class teenagers coming to these malls and kind of being rowdy, making noise, things like that. So the uh, politicians and the elite classes, the wealthy class, they're not liking it. And also the, um, of course, the business owners who, the businesses in the malls are worried that maybe they will, we call it drive away customers. So, you know, you're a customer, you come to the mall, but then you see all these teenagers walking around, dancing maybe, talking, joking around, and maybe you um, don't like that, so then you'd leave. So that's one of the things that uh, they talked about in the article. And so what it made me think of for this conversation class is um, 
what do teenagers do for fun these days? And then also, personally, what did you do for fun, like to meet people, to get out, to hang out uh, with your friends, to get out of the house, that kind of stuff, when you were a teenager? And maybe we have time to maybe compare and contrast um, what it was like when we were all younger versus what it's like for teens today. So that's what I was thinking. And some funny things going on in the Google Hangout here because we have two of Ariela and we lost Hamid and Nihan, which um, both are in Turkey. So maybe something happened there. I don't know. Okay. So let's, let me just say hi to everybody. Amparo, hi again. You're, are you having any trouble, Amparo, with your connection? Yes, for a few m minutes I couldn't, I wasn't able to listen to you, oh. but now, uh, yeah, in that, it, it, when I tried to, to figure out what, what happened, yeah. I saw that uh, Hamid and Nihan fall <laughs> <They> drop. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I was like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it looks funny. Yes, I know. Um, yeah, it's, it's, we're still, even though the technology is so amazing, it's not perfect yet, so... We just do the best we can. Um, I got a new modem the other day, and hopefully that will make it good for me. But Andrea had to leave our last class because of lightning and stuff, mm -hmm. weather in, in her town. Mm -hmm. So, yep. Okay, Ariela, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. Yeah. Did, you, did you go to uh, Maryland yet? Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah how did I you go? I went to the, the last week. Yes, last uh, week. Uh, all is okay. My presentation is okay. Um, the group, on the scientific group, is very uh, funny. <laughs> I I like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So yeah. when when will you know if you are going to go there, or oh. do you know? Yeah. Uh, I know. I know. Going to in, in May, maybe. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Great. <laughs> And David, how are you doing today? Hi, teacher. I am okay. And how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, we're getting everybody's uh, internet here stable. Hamid, you're back in class. And maybe something yes. happened. Hamid, are you in Izmir right now? Yes. Oh, maybe something happened in Izmir because you both dropped at the same time. That's mm. funny. Yeah. And uh, I, I called. I called the internet service because of this problem maybe twenty times, oh, and there yeah. is no solution. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't understand the technology, but I think it all depends on how many users are on the internet, and they sometimes drop, you know, connections, and I don't know what. I but guess the problem is related to cables, and uh, yeah. my aunt said to me. The cables uh, are 25 years old. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, when I got my new modem, the guy, the technician said that my, cable, my uh, internet service has higher speeds now, but they didn't tell me, so I have to call them and see if I can get a higher speed for the same price. So we'll see. That helps, too. Okay, Nihon, you're back. How are you doing? Not bad. Not bad, okay. And Rafael's back. And Tanis. Hi, Tanis. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Good. Tanis, where are you calling from? I'm from Brazil. Oh, from Brazil too. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. What part of Brazil? Uh, from the south. The Porto south? Alegre. Porto Alegre, yeah. okay. okay. How, how's the weather down there? It's pretty hot. Oh, pretty hot too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And have you been getting a lot of rain? Uh, this weekend uh, had a lot of rain, but now it's just hot again. The sun is, is oh, okay. very, very heavy. Yeah. Rafael lives in uh, Rio. He's always hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's always hot. Yeah. But um, usually, is the southern part not? As hot is that true? Yes, that's okay. true. But uh, last week we had uh, the most higher uh, degrees in Brazil. Uh, I don't know what happened, but oh. it's about uh, 
43 Celsius here. Oh, wow. Uh, used to be like 32 was already hot, but now 43. Yeah. Today, <laughs> today 32 was, was good. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's all a matter of um, perspective, huh? Like, and yeah. Yeah. Like if it's a uh, 38, you might complain it's too hot, but then when it's 43, you'll take 38. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That's true. Okay, and Omar. Hi, Omar. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Welcome to class. Thanks. Omar, where are you calling from? I am from Morocco, Casablanca. Okay, wonderful. Welcome to class again. Okay, um, all right, so maybe you guys all didn't hear what I was saying, <clears throat> but the main idea is just that we read this article about the teens in Brazil, and it made me think about, like, what do teenagers do for fun these days in different places, and so I thought we could have a conversation about that, and then also we could talk about um, ourselves, like what did you do um, when you were a teenager for fun or to to meet people um, and was it problematic like what's happening is that these teenagers in Brazil are getting together um, and they are going for walks in the malls but you know they're kinda loud and they're kinda having fun and dancing so the, the grown-ups usually the adults they're not liking that so there's kind of a little bit of what we call a clash or conflict happening um, so I'm wondering, you know, in the United States, maybe you guys have seen old American movies about like the 50s and the 60s, and there was a lot of um, conflict between the teens who wanted to go like drive their cars um, out, you know, on the road in the middle of the town late at night and play their music and, you know, maybe drink a beer or something like that. And, you know, adults didn't really like that. And then in the 60s, the, you know, the teenagers and the young college students protesting and stuff. So it can be difficult for the teenagers to find a way to express themselves that doesn't annoy <laughs> the older people and also a place to do that. Like where can they go, you know. So that's what I was thinking for the conversation. So I'll start with Amparo. Um, Amparo, what kinds of things did you do? For the fun, like as a teenager, when you were uh, in your teenage years, maybe even like your older teenage years, like 16, 17, when you're a little bit older, you're not quite a kid anymore, and you're looking for something to do. I was kind of boring, <laughs> bored, <laughs> bored, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, because when I I finished my my high school, I used to come back home and stay here. Yeah, I'm making my homework, and yeah, that was. I I didn't have any extra activity or 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 I I, I didn't practice a, a sport or or play an instrument. Mm -hmm. No, I I didn't used to that to yeah. do that. So I don't remember what uh, what uh, uh, but I spend uh, most of my time in here at home yeah. and in that in that. Uh, era <laughs> we didn't have <laughs> internet well, so I yeah, don't remember right. what, what was my activities. Did you watch TV maybe or listen to Yes I suppose so yes yeah. watch TV uh, yeah that was uh, the 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 my 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 hobbies I suppose um no more. Well um you have a lot of brothers and sisters is that right? Yeah yeah yeah. Yes so were they all uh, living in the same house with you at that time when you were a teenager? Yeah well uh, because I was uh, the the youngest uh, oh. they 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 probably when I was a uh, uh, at the high school, they, they were at the university, so mm -hmm. they, they they have the different schedules. Uh, I see. Uh -huh. um, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um, so most of like uh, your socializing, we call it, like hanging out with your friends or something, happened mm -hmm. at school. Yes, just at that moment. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Okay, Ariela. What about you? What kinds of things did you do? 
as a teenager, like for fun or to, to meet up with your friends or? Oh, okay. When I was a teenager, uh, my uh, main hobbies were was uh, watch TV or do a sport and maybe talk with my friends. I use uh, sometimes the telephone to mm -hmm. talk with my friends. Uh, I don't know, um, maybe go to the cinema or mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, something. Yeah. Did you ever uh, get into trouble? <laughs> <laughs> like going uh, out or something like that? I don't know. Uh, 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 you say travel, travel, travel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe in the vacation, uh -huh. uh, I went to the mountain with my family, or or maybe um, go to the um, uh, the river with my friends. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So, did, would you say that um, that you mostly hung out with kids your age at school, or did you meet up with them like on the weekends and walk around or go do stuff, or was it mostly at school and then spending time with your family at home? No, I spend my time fear uh, uh, mainly in the school. I I always. Uh, uh, was a good student, so mm -hmm. I spend my time uh, reading books or uh, do homework, mm -hmm. and um, only the weekend uh, we uh, um, stay with my family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you were busy, busy studying. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Always. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Carmen. Your microphone is muted. There hi. you go. Hi. 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 How, how are you? Good. How I'm are fine. you? Good. Fine. Fine. So, fine. so yeah. tell, tell us about when you were a teenager. What kinds of things did you do uh, for fun with your friends to get out of the house maybe? or? Okay. Well, I, um, I used to, to go to, to parties and dance. And go oh, yeah. to the movies. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, to, to dance that, uh, salsa, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know how to salsa. dance salsa, but I know the music. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I like it very much. And to share with my friends, and also I, I used to to cook yeah, and invite my friends to my house oh, uh -huh. to to share. Uh, yeah, to share food. Um, and also, I I I like to study uh, so much. <laughs> here in Venezuela, I don't know in English, but here we we call the persons like me nerds. Nerds, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah like I nerds. like to study. Yeah. Okay. Because well, I, I also <laughs> I I like the, to dance, but but I I I studied a lot. And yeah. always I was the the I obtained mm -hmm. uh, high grades. Yeah. But but I share all, all the all the things. But also I, I I liked to study so much at home also. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, fun. And do you have yes. did you have um, brothers or sisters living at your house when you were a teenager? Yes, we are uh, four girls, four women. Oh wow! I have yes, <laughs> and I was the. <laughs> I have another um, um, uh, younger than me, mm -hmm. and I have two older than me. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. But uh, but uh, it's incredible. Uh, each one um, goes along with with her friends. We we didn't go together. Oh, you all had fri different friends. Yes, we are very different, mm, and okay. we each one likes different things to do. Uh huh. I I I, I consider that I I have a, a a mixture of many things. 
I, li yeah. I like to be quiet at home and also I like to dance, I, learn, I, I, I like to study and to have a uh, boyfriends also, <laughs> many boyfriends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you, but, need, but, you need your dancing partners. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and now I I I, I dance tango. I, I, oh you know, wow! The, yeah, and uh, yes, now yeah, but because I'm older you know, nowadays, but well, those things were um, enjoyable for me. Yeah, nice. Sounds fun. Was that yeah. is that um, pretty popular for teenagers to do? Is go out dancing? Salsa? Yes, here. Yeah. Yes, men. Yeah. See, there are many. So, uh, in Venezuela, there is a culture of, of parties and to drink. Also, the teenagers. In my when I was younger, the parents always was they fixed. Uh, an hour to come back to to, to home, but now uh, it's different. But yeah. in that time, well, we we try to to enjoy a lot because <laughs> we have to be at home uh, at eleven or twelve. Oh yeah, no, sure. The, uh, the curfew. Hmm. We call that yes. like your your curfew time when you have to be home. Yeah. Okay, curfew yeah. time. Okay. So in in Venezuela. Um, so, for example, here in the United States, it can be difficult for young people to um, find a place to go because to go dancing or to go to a bar, you have to be 21 years old because that's the drinking age here. So, in no. Venezuela, is it different or? Yeah, 18. We need 18 to enter the the places, but okay. also 16. If if you pay <laughs> some money to the oh. <laughs> to the person, you can enter. There is many corruption. Ah, okay, corruption. <laughs> it works in your favor. <laughs> yes. Okay. And in every in every area, there are, there are many corruption. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. David, oh, how about okay, how about you? you? Yeah, sure. David, what about uh, what did you do as a teenager? Mm, uh, well, uh, my hobbies uh, were uh, do sports, mm, uh -huh. of all kind of sports, all kind of of sports. Uh, soccer, mostly soccer, uh, mm -hmm. basketball. Uh, um, I used to go out with my friends in, in the bicycles. We we ride the we ride the bicycles and go to many different parts of the of the city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, video games, uh, watch TV, internet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, kind of video games did you play? All kinds. <laughs> like a. Uh, Xbox or Nintendo or mm. like like what? PS2 like oh, okay. Xbox PS2. One uh huh <laughs> uh, yeah shooter I don't know <laughs> many games uh huh um, and go to the mall uh, kiss, kiss some girls <laughs> <laughs> go find some girls at the mall yeah. mm, <laughs> uh, I, I was in a in a in, in a group of side in a in a in a small gang, uh -huh. and and sometimes we have troubles with, with other child and maybe oh. some fights. But you were in like a real gang? No, 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 like a a different group than a, than another neighborhood. Yes. Uh, yeah. Rivalities and and, and you had, like that. You had like a rivalry between like your group and the other group. Yes, and and poor girls too. Oh, for okay. You, did you fight over girls? Yes. Uh, <laughs> did you ever get hurt? Uh, yes, but mm, le less hurt. I mean, uh, not too much. <laughs> Five well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, great. Okay. Let's see. Hamid, how about you? What did you do as a teenager? When I was a teenager, I was studying more more lessons. 
but of course, uh, in my free times, uh, I was going to uh, sport uh, activities, and my favorite sport uh, is still uh, basketball. My hate is a low, but I like uh, playing basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want to share one of my interesting stories. In my study, I met uh, what, uh, with one lady uh, mm -hmm. via Facebook, and uh, we are still in contact uh, now, maybe uh, seven years. Wow. And uh, one day, one day, uh, when we uh, were speaking, I met uh, with uh, her mom person, mm -hmm. and uh, this person said to me, I have a, a marriage. Then I uh, said something uh, with making joke, can I come to your wedding? Then she really invited uh, to me for that marriage. Oh, wow. So where, where did she live? Yeah. Uh, it was uh, she's uh, she lives in Istanbul, but uh, the marriage was in another city. Then uh, I gave a permission from my uh, family. Yeah. Then I went to go to uh, I went to adventure, uh, the biggest adventure for my life. <laughs> nice. <laughs> because I know that person only uh, from internet. Wow. So. I went to uh, that marriage, and uh, I met with uh, her, uh, lay, uh, with her face to face. Wow! How was that? It was amazing and unforgettable. Uh, so, it is my the uh, most interesting uh, teenager uh, teenage uh, story. How how old were you when you first started um, interacting with her? online? Uh, maybe 20. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. And uh, I was using uh, MSN. Yeah. Before yeah. Facebook. Before Facebook, yeah. Yes, and I uh, also like uh, to know uh, international friends. And uh, I remember uh, some guys uh, from this time. Uh, for example, I had a good friend uh, from Poland, and uh, we were uh, in contact almost one year. But one day, uh, he said to me, "I want to finish our friendship." So sometimes uh, foreign people are interesting. Yeah, yeah, cool. So you've been you've been doing that for a long time. Yes. Yeah. And I have also uh, German and. Uh, one uh, Polish friend, mm -hmm. with my German friend, uh, we are in contact uh, again uh, for uh, seven years. Okay, wow, great. And uh, and if I go to Germany, uh, this friend uh, thinks to visit my home. Uh huh. So uh, and you know my internet uh, idea in my internet idea. Uh, internet uh, provides good friend, uh, good friends for me. I cannot touch them, but I can uh, feel everything from my mind and from my heart too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. Nihan, tell us about when you were a teenager. Actually, I had a nice teenager but uh, I had some problems with my brother I yeah just, I just remember that during that time yeah he was really jealous to me jealous of you why because why, yeah, did you have boyfriends or more friends or something or no 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 that not that kind of thing oh. he didn't mind that kind of oh. thing <laughs> In what in what way was he jealous? Like um, your I life, I was your parents? I was I was successful, and my parents were fond of me, and mm -hmm. my grades uh, were also nice on uh, in those years. And he <laughs> was he he was really lazy. Oh. Okay. Uh, he he could finish the high school in six years. 
Mm -hmm. uh, it it should be it should have been in uh, three years. Oh, but, wow. uh, he, he didn't uh, double. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but he is a university uh, teacher now. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> yes. We we call that a, a late bloomer. <laughs> when somebody yeah. yeah takes them a while to like blossom or to bloom and to find their place. Yeah. Yeah. But why he was blooming? <laughs> he was yeah. really really nervous. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Uh, but um, I, I wasn't a really normal girl. I was a little bit strange in those years. Trouble was my second name. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the plot I, thickens, we say. Do you know what that means? No, plot thickens. Yeah, oh. <laughs> so the plot is your story, and now when it gets more interesting, we say the plot <laughs> thickens, because now we want to know, why were you trouble? <laughs> I don't know. I, I I didn't like the boys. I I found them really stupid, and yeah. I wasn't really into the the boys and girls stuff. Yeah. Uh, I was reading a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, kind of, it, it was stupid. I know, but uh, I just uh, assumed myself as an intellectual in those yeah. years. Yeah. And uh, and. When you um, just uh, read a lot, when yeah. you are a teenager, it, it wasn't a really healthy way to grow up, I guess, because you think you think bigger, and the mm. world seems really tiny to you. Some existential problems, or yeah. something. And actually, um, I, I I drank a lot in those oh. years, secretly. <laughs> Oh, of secretly. Course. Yeah. What's the What's the drinking age in Turkey? Eighteen, but oh, okay. I think sixteen or uh, seventeen. Is it uh, easy I, to I, get alcohol? Oh yes, it was easy if you know all the tactics. <laughs> you got you, uh, connections. You have, you <laughs> yes, you have to send an elderly uh, oh, guy. Sure. Yeah. To just. Just bought some beers or something. Yeah. My mother and my father was not really at home in those years because of their jobs. Oh. And uh -huh. I didn't like to go to bars a lot, but my home was just a bar because I have I had lots of friends. That at the mm. weekends we are gathering together and drinking, smoking, that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and we are. Um, we are talking about the really serious issues. Mm. I'm just kidding now, but uh, in those times, it it, it seemed really uh, important deep. for us. Yeah, it it seems really deep, and uh, we are blaming the other girls that they are really silly. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> they are friends shallow. with boyfriends. Yeah, shallow. But I, I'm normal enough. <laughs> I'm healed. <laughs> You left. You left your intellectual life to be yes, to join yes. the mainstream. Yes, <laughs> okay. I'm totally normal and recovered. Recovered, recovering intellectual. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you for sharing, Raphael. How about you? What kinds of things did you do as a teenager for fun? To meet people. Well, my my teenager years. I think they are normal. In, mm -hmm. uh, I I used to go to to parties. I used to play soccer with my friends and when I have time. And uh, yeah. sometimes uh, some friends of school they had a rock band, so I oh. used to to play with them when I have time. Cool. I was learning to play drums, but unfortunately the School year was over, and everyone took the different ways in life. So mm. uh, we could, we had to finish the band. I think they are still playing together. I don't know. I, I lost the contact with them. Oh wow! But uh, do you I think just, do you still play drums? Mm, 
No, 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 not lately. I I think I already lost my ability to play. I don't know why. I'm, I'm looking forward to play another drums. Maybe perhaps in the future I could learn and play again. Oh yeah, sure. But uh, it was it was a it was good years. It was a I have lots of good memories to to keep. Perhaps mm -hmm. tell my children in the future. You know. Yeah. So if if you were a teenager right now, would you go to the Holizinho thing? Would you go to the malls like that? Is that something that sound would be fun for you or not really? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Uh, probably yes. Hmm? Probably yes. I I think so. Could be fun. <laughs> yes. If your could friends be fun. are there and meet new people, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of a really um, a big difference. Um, it just made me think that that's a really big difference between like you know when we were young. Well, I'm 43, so that was a long time ago when I was a teenager. But even even maybe 10 years ago or something, um, it wasn't easy to organize a huge group of people like a thousand people or something coming to one place because you maybe could just tell people in your school. Maybe you could use the phone. But nowadays, um, with Facebook especially, you can have these big groups, these big gatherings of people um, on short notice, we call it. So like you, people could decide like on Thursday, let's go to the mall on Saturday. And then, you know, already because people are, you know, walking around with their phones and they see, they're checking their messages all the time, it happens really quickly, you know, so that's interesting. In terms of getting a lot of people together versus, you know, just some friends, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's different. Tennis. Um, How about I you? To, um, I used to to be very busy. Uh, hmm. I studied, I studied in a technician course. Oh. In the morning and high school in the afternoon. Oh my gosh! Really? Wow. <laughs> Busy. Yeah. Then, but uh, I like it a lot. Uh, I still <laughs> like to to be busy. And yeah. I used to read a lot too, and and just um, hang out with my friends. Uh, go to their houses. Uh, they come to my house. They came to my house and mm -hmm. uh, talk and. Yeah. And watch some movies. Uh, I like to, to watch a lot of uh, old concerts um, did you, on TV. Did most of your friends, were they from your school or like the technician training? Or how, where did you meet people that were your friends? Uh, both places, but uh, the ones that I used to hang out the most was from mm -hmm. high school. Uh, because I live next to my house, so oh, <laughs> who studied sin uh, since the the beginning of we are on, on college. I had a cousin of the same age, so uh -huh. yes, always together. Uh huh. Did do you have brothers or sisters that are similar in age? No, no, only child. Oh, only child. Okay, but your cousin, you did a lot with your cousin. Yeah, I had a lot. Uh, I still have a lot of cousins up. Almost oh, okay. the same age, one or two years old or, oh, okay. or younger. Boys or girls or both? Both. 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 Oh, okay. Cool. So, uh, what do you do now to keep yourself so busy? Uh, I work. Uh, I studied at college. Mm -hmm. I work during the day and college at night. Now I'm on vacation, but Where it's do next you... to start again. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm a computer program. Okay. And how much longer do you have at school? Uh, I started and stopped and started again. Mm -hmm. uh, but now I am on it more. Uh, mm -hmm. When I finish school, and s well, what was our question? Sorry. Yeah, what are you studying, and when will you be done? Uh, I don't know. I think in two years. Uh, do hmm. 
are you studying computer science or programming languages or? Yeah, more program uh, system for internet uh, web development. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Development. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of uh, computer people on on Verbling. <laughs> it's common for yeah. to have programmers yeah. and you know, network people and yeah. It's very well, it's a big uh it's necessary. Necessary. Yeah, these yeah, days English it's a big, is, big yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah. So, Amparo. Amparo. Yes. <laughs> So the next question I think that we'll each have a little bit of time to answer is, so what do you see the teenagers doing now? Like, do you know any teenagers or do you see teenagers and what kinds of, yeah, are they my, doing the my, same thing or? My nephew How and is it different? Yeah. Are they teens? They spend a lot of time uh, uh, with the PlayStation, <laughs> video games online. Yes. Um, and then uh, another prefer to just stay the whole day with the headphones, <laughs> listen to music, <laughs> loud music. Yeah. <laughs> and when you are asking something, yeah. uh, ah, what? <laughs> never understand what you what you were asking at the first time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but they, they have uh, two of my um, one niece and one nephew that are almost the same age, and mm -hmm. they prefer to go to the cinema mm -hmm. some, from time to time. Uh, yeah, but it's the, the usual that they do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they spend a lot of time on the media, different kinds of media. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's similar here for a lot of teenagers. Yeah. Ariela, what about in uh, your country? What do teens do these days? Have you noticed that um, at all? The, in my country, um, the teenagers now uh, go to the party all the time. <laughs> the <laughs> party all the time? <laughs> yeah. um, like drinking and, parties or what kind of parties? I don't know, yeah. I don't know. Uh, in Chile, uh, yeah. the, the, the young can drink at uh, 18. Okay, yeah. So, but I think that they all a teenager try drink before. Before that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh, the, um, the teenager um, they, 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 they try to play um, video games and uh, maybe it's typical that the, the teenager are um, do a sport, for example, mm -hmm. Uh, mountain bike, uh, uh, the trekking, uh, mm -hmm. uh, this uh, kind of, of a sport. Yeah. Um, yeah. What well, in Chile? How um, long is the school day for a high school student? Is it long uh, or short? Uh, it is uh, the hours in the school? Yeah. Yeah, is uh, long. Maybe um, from eight. A.M. Mm -hmm. at uh, 5 p.m. Oh wow! Yeah, that's yeah. long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's about it, two hours longer than here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, and this time uh, is usually uh, usually uh, is possible to see the student uh, talking in a uh, green place. I don't know. Uh, or, like a park. Or, yeah, in a park. In a park. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, or, or, for example, you can see um, in the, the video game store. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Carmen. Okay, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about the teenagers? Do they um, are they a lot different than when you were a teenager? Or the yes, same? Yes. Uh, Yes, actually, I I work with teenagers because oh. I'm a teacher in uh -huh. high school, and well, they are similar, but the 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 things I consider uh, are changed are about the respect. Can you say respect to the to the teachers? Yes. And to the the oldest, and uh, for example, ten years ago. 
the the teenagers were more serious when a teacher told things, but now they laughed at, at, at one and the, if you call the the parents, uh, the parents don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. the, the, we, we the teachers say that the, the the teenagers now are the parents, and the parents are now the sons because <laughs> the son, yes, the teenagers yeah. are the they govern govern uh, governing wow. the parents. Yeah. Yes, it's it's quite difficult to to work now with <laughs> with teenagers. But well, yeah. the other the other side, they are enjoyable and um, some Funny. some are polite, but it's it's quite different. Really, it's difficult. Yeah, yeah. I think um, some people, some teachers will say you have to have a you know the right personality to want to work with teenagers especially middle school kids like that are like 12, 13 and then high school yes. here starts at 14 but um, it takes like a we say it takes a certain kind of person because a lot of adults they don't have any patience for like the teenage attitude you know they're because like you said disrespect or not taking things very seriously and yeah. and they well in, in when I when I was teenager a teenager I I I never <laughs> I don't know the word when the, when the person uh, didn't go to the schools if if they went to another place in the oh, same time. That means they, they ditched school. Like they? ditched or to skip school? Is that what skip you mean? School. Like yes, instead of going yes. to school, they go shopping yes. or they go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, that's very common. That's oh, okay. very common here. Yeah. yeah, we but, call that um, to ditch school. Like you ditch it. You like I'm not going today, or you skip. Okay. And you don't go. Skip. Yeah. Okay. Skip school. Okay. Yeah. And it's, it, I, I think it's not only in Venezuela. Sure. Uh, in, yeah, in it sounds world. familiar. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same. I prefer. I prefer the the. The children in primary school there also I teach in primary school because they are more pure I don't know more um, uh, sincere sincere can I say sincere yeah sincere yeah see yes well but now I'm I'm going to be retiring in this year oh, okay because well. I have 27 years working <laughs> wow congratulations <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's yes. a, a life change, a life, um, uh, we call that, what is it, the words escaping me, where you hit like a milestone, yeah, like you hit a milestone in your life, you know, yes, something yes. you accomplished and then you move on to the next thing. Yes, yeah. yes, I need, I need something different now, <laughs> I need to do anything different. Yeah. Because I really am tired of teaching. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. My my mom was a teacher her whole career, so she just retired. But now she's substituting, so she keep keeps okay. her busy. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, David. David, what what do you see the teenagers doing mm. in your country? Um, well, I think uh, it depends of the group. Yeah. Uh, of the of the they are uh, with uh, the the friends that they going out. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, there are uh, teenagers that start to drink to to drink and go to parties early sure. than others. Yeah. There is one group. Uh, um, Maybe uh, over that that worry more that worry most about the the study and and good uh, and have good uh, grades. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I can see that uh, for all uh, they spent more time in in the internet than than before. Uh, yeah. They spend time in Facebook, uh, in YouTube, playing online uh, with video games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. They are more addicted to the technology that, than before. Uh, yeah. Do they do uh, do they all seem to have their own like uh, cell phones and iPods and things like that? Yes. Uh, Is that something that's popular? Technology stuff. Uh, yeah. Like iPods, iPhones, and Excel, mm. uh, smartphones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Laptops. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Laptops, sure. Okay, Hamid, how about um, where you live, in Turkey? What do Turkey, you see in the teens doing? Uh, in my observation, uh, yeah. I see that uh, they are trying to everything, uh, only one except one activity. Uh, this exception activity is a studying lesson. <laughs> they don't study? Study, but not uh, real, uh, really eagerness. They don't want to uh, study eagerly. Mm. And uh, sometimes uh, mm -hmm. I can ask uh, some basic questions. Yeah. But uh, they don't know these uh, questions answers too. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And their uh, intentions are always uh, uh, funny, funny, funny. Or, uh, they just want to have time. fun. Yes, fun, fun, fun. Yeah, fun, and fun, spending fun. time uh, very wastely. Okay, waste their time, yeah. Mm -hmm. What about money? Do they seem to think that like to make money is easy and their parents just pay for stuff or like are they working some people start working when they're younger you know like teenagers but it seems like less people do that nowadays I don't know uh, I think uh, I know some people and uh, these uh, people uh, make money from internet yeah that's true some young people mm -hmm. make in yeah <laughs> yeah Nihon, there what are about, many ways, okay there are many ways for that so, yes. uh, this is this even this uh, behavior is also useful. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm but sure. uh, sometimes, sometimes uh, this money can be illegal uh, with illegal ways. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Sure. There's always that. <laughs> Nihon, what do you see the teens doing? Actually, I have no interaction with the scenes nowadays. You don't see them like if you go shopping or out on the streets or anything? Mm, I prefer to shop with small uh, stores. I don't like most. Um, mm -hmm. And my cousins um, are already grown up. I don't know but um, I solve them on internet. Yeah. And I don't think so. They are really well prepared to, uh, to life, to do life. Mm -hmm. And they are educated, but uh, not a deep way. Mm -hmm. uh, they they know everything, but they don't know uh, the the things, the issues deeply. Uh, but maybe because of the internet, they can find information. We have talked about it, mm -hmm. but um, the the level of the uh, information or the level of the uh, being professional uh, is higher than. Uh, uh, nowadays, because education, because the university, they even in a small town, uh, they just try to join uh, the university uh, to get a better job. Yeah. In those days, mm, not me, but my parents' they, uh, uh, days, maybe uh, they didn't think that really it's essential to to go to university. Mm -hmm. uh, it was really rare. Yeah. Uh, my my father is uh, six siblings, and mm -hmm. two of them uh, just um, ha has a chance had a chance to go to university. Mm -hmm. But uh, nowadays, in 2040, I guess everyone just try to join the university. But they, they I think they they missed uh, the point. They missed mm -hmm. the fun. They are yeah. um, studying a lot. In Turkey, there's a really soft uh, exam for uh, for the um, for if you want to participate the university. There's yeah. a really really tough exam, and they prepared for two or uh, three years for wow. this exam. Yeah, and they 
Yeah, they miss the fun. They uh, they uh, they don't live their youth, their teenage years, uh, in a proper way, I guess. Mm. Mm, they'll have to have they, um, they'll have to have midlife crisis later then. <laughs> yes, and uh, actually, uh, when they get a really nice job, uh, yeah. when they solve their uh, economical financial problems, uh, in their thirties. They just uh, turn uh, turn out to a teenager. They mm. act, uh, uh, yeah. are really um, not mature, ma mature, you know. Sure. Yeah. And uh, sometimes in the work, I, I face this kind of situations, and I just think, who am I talking? He is 35, and he he acts like a 15 teenager mm. mm -hmm. uh, because they just started to live. <laughs> and it's too late for them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Raphael, what about you? And you have any interaction with teenagers at all? Yes, my younger brother. Oh. Uh, he's uh, he's seventeen right now. So uh -huh. it's been, it's been tough. Because I, I'm, it's been a little difficult because. Uh, I'm kind of in charge of uh, educating him, uh, giving mm. him support, you know, and yeah. giving, um, tell him some, some, give him some experience, some life experience to, in order to prepare him for, for the things of life, you know. And yeah. Does he listen so, to you? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I try. I I try to to give him some information about it. <laughs> yeah, that's a tough age. They think they they can't really see the future very well. It's yeah. Not, it's like it's not real. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> a lot of energy, a lot of hormones. They are discovering yeah. themselves. So. <laughs> that's true. That's complicated. Yes. yes. Okay, Tanis, to finish off, what about you? Are you having much interaction with teenagers? Uh, not too not too much. My my cousins are now or of the same age as me or uh -huh. or younger or uh, or kids yet. Yeah. I have yeah. two cousins that are fourteen, fifteen years old mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's all the same thing, yeah. Internet. A lot of and internet, yeah. Yeah. The all all my time we used to have to have fun, play soccer. Uh, I was on. <laughs> oh, I was outside playing, and now they are always connected. You yes. see, they are always connected. On the vacation, they spend the <laughs> night, all night long, right. connected. Yes. And used to sleep to have fun during the day, and now right. they are all day long on computers. Yeah. Yeah. That's similar here. That's what a lot of people report is like, you know. Go outside, get them outside more because they're so connected always with the computer or the TV, the video games. So, yeah. Okay, guys, we used up our, our hour here. So, oh, thank it goes you. Fast. Ah, that went by fast, I know. It's, it's yeah. fun to talk about those types of uh, topics, especially if everybody, when we have enough people in the class where we can share and listen and hear everybody's uh, stories. I'm sure you could all tell us much more about your teenage years. <laughs> but oh, we only have yes. one hour. Yeah. <laughs> so thanks for participating. Thank you, Lisa. Yes. Thank, yes. You. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 To get out of the house, that kind of stuff, when you were a teenager. And maybe we have time to maybe compare and contrast um, what it was like when we were all younger versus what it's like for teens today. So that's what I was thinking. And some funny things going on in the Google Hangout here because we have two of Ariella and we lost Hamid and Nihan, which um, both are in Turkey. So maybe something happened there. I don't know. Okay. So let's, let me just say hi to everybody. Amparo, hi again. You're, are you having any trouble, Amparo, with your connection? Yes, for a few m minutes I couldn't, I wasn't able to listen to you. Oh. But now, uh, yeah, in that, it, it, when I tried to, to figure out what, what happened, yeah. I saw that uh, 
حميد يعني نيهم فور دروب يا لك سفني يس اي نو ام يا اتس اتس وير ستيل ايفن ذو ذا تكنولوجي از سو اميزنج اتس نوت بيرفكت يت سو وي جست دو ذا بيست وي كان ام اي جوت ا نيو مودم ذا اذر داي بروبلمز فور ذا ارت اكوردنج تو ذا ارتيكل اتس بين كوزنج بروبلمز تو ذا اليت كلاسز Um, in Brazil, who are kind of worried about, you know, these um, lower class teenagers coming to these malls and kind of being rowdy, making noise, things like that. So the uh, politicians and the elite classes, the wealthy class, they're not liking it. And also, the, um, of course, the business owners, who the businesses in the malls are worried that maybe... they will, we call it drive away customers. So, you know, you're a customer, you come to the mall, but then you see all these teenagers walking around, dancing maybe, talking, joking around, and maybe you um, don't like that, so then you'd leave. So that's one of the things that uh, they talked about in the article. And so what it made me think of for this conversation class is, um, What do teenagers do for fun these days? And then also, personally, what did you do for fun? Like, to meet people, to get out, to hang out uh, with your friends. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another hour of English classes here on Verbling.com. My name is Lisa, and I live in Washington State. I live in the United States. I'm one of the English teachers here. And in this hour of class, we're going to have a conversation class. So if you have a reservation, you can go ahead and use that now. That's available to redeem or to use or to get um, during the first two minutes of every class. Um, if you are new to Verbling.com, um, the way it works is we have classes in English and Spanish Um, during the day, basically 24-7, we say, 24 hours a day, seven days per week. Sometimes we have um, two teachers teaching at one time. Those are usually the, day, uh, the times of day where we have more students wanting to take classes. We have students from all around the world, um, different times. So you'll, sometimes you might be with students in your same regional area, same country, or maybe across the, the whole world. And, different parts of the world, everybody hour of class which um, in which we read an article about teenagers in Brazil and something that has been happening for the last few months and I want to talk about it and then that's going to lead us into our bigger discussion about uh, teenagers and being a teenager in general. So I'll, I'll um, summarize what the article was about quickly here. Um, it's basically this idea that um, some of the teenagers in bigger cities in Brazil, like Sao Paulo, which has millions of people, um, these teenagers are organizing themselves on like Twitter or Facebook, and they're organizing gatherings or meetups or you know, just a way to all say, hey, we're going to be at this place at 5 o'clock tonight. And so what's happening is they're showing up, we say en masse, which is really French, but like all together, all at once. Um, and they, they just want to have fun. Some of them say they just want to have fun. They just want to like meet people. They want to get out of the house, go do something um, with their friends. But it's been causing a lot of the is in a different time zone usually. And um, Hamit is beginning for the first time his first verbling class. <laughs> yes, Hamid. it is only my uh, 362nd days on wow. the verbling. Wow, almost a whole year. Yes. That's, that's good. Yeah, Hamit, you should have a job where you take uh, like statistics or something. Do you like statistics? Yes, uh, the real reason is I like the numbers. You like the numbers, yeah. I like numbers too. Yeah, you must really like technology then, because with technology, it's so easy to keep track of numbers and you know how many people saw this and how many people came to class and you know lots of numbers. Yes. 
in yes. in the technology world. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teach. Oh, Nihon wants to know how she can find how many days she has been on Verbo. Yes. Okay, I will uh, uh, search and I will inform. I will inform you, uh, Nihon. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Okay, guys, welcome. We have some people who uh, were in the last 